Over the last month, we've seen a significant increase in the number of Houthi attacks on commercial shipping in the Red Sea. That's putting innocent lives at risk. It's disrupting the global economy, uh, and it's also uh, destabilizing the region. Uh, and in that time, we've also seen the single biggest attack on a Navy warship, a British Navy warship, that we've seen in decades. Now, it's clear that that type of behavior can't carry on. That's why we joined with allies in issuing very public condemnation of this behaviour and it's why I made the decision with allies to take what I believe to be necessary, proportionate and targeted action against military targets to degrade and disrupt Houthi capability. We won't hesitate to protect lives and ensure the safety of commercial shipping. Well, we've carried out a series of strikes together with allies which will, we believe, degrade and disrupt the capability. The types of things that we've targeted are launch sites for missiles and for drones. Initial indications are that those strikes have been successful. Um, we'll continue to monitor the situation. Uh, but it's clear that this type of behaviour can't be met without a response. We need to send a strong signal that this breach of international law is wrong. Uh, people can't act like this with impunity. And that's why, together with allies, we've decided to take this action. Well, look, our aim is very clear. It's to de-escalate tensions and to restore stability to the region. And that's why allies over the past few weeks have issued several statements of condemnation of what's happening, calling on the Houthis to desist. Indeed, just this week we've seen a UN Security Council resolution condemning what's happening and, and saying that states have a right to self-defense. We have acted in self-defense. It's incumbent now on the Houthis to stop carrying out these attacks, putting people's lives at risk and disrupting the global economy, which will also have a damaging impact on, on people's uh, shopping and the, their day-to-day -day, uh, shopping when they go about their lives. That's not right. We've seen the disruption that that's brought over the past year or two with the situation in Russia and Ukraine. We don't want to see that happen again, and that's why it's right that we've taken action. We are one of Ukraine's most significant supporters, uh, particularly when it comes to providing military aid. Uh, I'm pleased to be here today to announce an increase in the aid that we're providing. Uh, the aid that we've got in place already runs uh, through to the early part of this year, so we're acting in advance of that expiring with a new commitment of two and a half billion pounds, more than we've provided in previous years. That represents the seriousness of the situation here and our determination to stand with Ukraine. And that's why I'm here on my first foreign visit of this year, the first foreign leader to visit Ukraine this year. I want to send a strong signal of support to the Ukrainian people, but also a strong signal of support that Vladimir Putin needs to recognise we're not going anywhere. I'm here with one clear message. The United Kingdom stands with Ukraine.